Right, so I'm a little bit late, but I need to go to college because. Uh... Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another daily vlog. I'm here with Kyle and we're about to fly the drone because I'm going to London tomorrow and I kind of need some shots for our documentary for college. So, hit a drone footage. So guys, from the drone footage, you've probably seen that it's just flown literally over this field. Um, yeah, walking back through the field right now. Watch this, like the corn is so insane, look. It's a bit mad, like just... Like literally, I find the um, drone, the person was just sitting in the, in the freaking field. It's, looks pretty lit. Just casually sitting in the grass. Huh? You have a snail go down the trousers. <laughs> oh, it's actually quite nice, isn't it? You know, because no one can actually see you. Like, I was right down there and I couldn't see cousin in the grass, so if the farmer came, we're fine. Just lay in the grass. <laughs> Gonna need to get some sick Instagrams as well, you know? <laughs> About that. <laughs> Sorry, farmer. <laughs> Look, guys, you can literally just lob the drone bag. It's like, oh, where's it gone? Like, what's this, like, how to be Geordie Fox or something? Running for a field after your drone. Hello. 
la main. <rire> Okay, so right now, I am literally just walking home, being just out around with Curzon to be honest. I haven't seen Curzon in a long time before today. So I got some cool drone footage, mostly focusing on cinematics. And also, I don't know if you saw that yellow car, that yellow Lamborghini. Well, I'll get to that in a little bit. Also, excuse my hair as well. I um, woke up a bit late for college this morning, it looked all right this morning. Um, for a day it just seems to have gone really fluffy though because I put so much conditioner in yesterday however though guys right now I am um, I need to get my way home but I'll catch you guys in a little bit and by the way guys we still haven't sold so if you want to know when we're moving call that number and ask them because I don't know so stop asking me <sighs> now guys first things first I just want to point out the song that you probably I think you did hear at the start of this vlog yeah, I made that myself, and if you do want to use it in your videos, hit me up and I'll be sure to send it to you, because of course you won't get a copyright claim from that. Also, I just want to say about what I was meaning to get at earlier, with them two, cars, right, yellow Lamborghini man and white BMW man. Right, so these two are obviously two kind of racer kind of people, because they're both parked on the pavement outside a pub in town. Now next to the pub there is a bank, get to that in a minute. So, Curzon and his girlfriend were both in the chip shop. I was third wheeling outside and I was just like, kind of daydreaming. And I saw these two cars parked there and I was like, hang on a minute. They're parked on the path. I thought it was a bit odd. The police turned up. Like, they obviously weren't in a hurry, they just driving past and happened to notice that these two cars were sitting there. So the police drove up. So I was like, right, this is interesting. So I went a little bit closer, as you do, um, and I was like, okay. So I was on the other side of the road, so I was like, if I film it, it's a bit weird. Because obviously there was other people walking past, so it was quite busy in town. They were both parked on the path, and as the police pull up, the um, owner of the yellow Lamborghini walks out of the pub. And yeah, so the police approach him. He's outside his car and next to the police car, and they have a chat for about five minutes. Nothing happens, they don't have to pay anything, no payment or anything, just literally speaking words to each other, yeah. And he gets back in his car, speeds off, almost running someone over, can I just point that out? So there's two traffic lights here, and two traffic lights on the other side of the road obviously, and you know where you walk across for the traffic lights? It was a red light, so the cars had to stop, but the people were walking across the road, he speeds out, down where the people are meant to be walking. Luckily, he literally just missed someone, speeds out, thinking, oh, look, I'm so hard in my Lamborghini, I can go so fast, almost running people over for a red light. Nice one, mate, wanker. Yeah, he goes round the back to go and repark his car, as the police have obviously just told him to do. And as he goes off, the owner of the white BMW comes out of the bank next door. So he's walking out the bank, da 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 da, Police approach him, do the same to him, and he whizzes off, not running people over, but he whizzes off to repark his car. They both come back, and they both run into the bank. And as they walk out of the bank, I can hear them saying, we have to be quick, and something about someone maybe scratching their cars. So I figured, and so did Curzon's girlfriend, that the only reason they park their cars on the path is because they don't want them to get scratched by the cars. Which is fair enough, because if you buy an expensive car, then okay. But still, it gives you no authority to park your car on the path and then think, oh, I'm so hard, and speed away. Like, just because you've got an expensive car doesn't mean you can park on the path. Park on the freaking road where your car belongs like every other person because you're no more special than anyone else and don't show off by like trying to run people over either, it's not cool. 
and yeah, as you can see, I put it in slow motion in the um, in the cinematic. I put it in slow motion, but if you watch it, um, you can see that the white BMW man, as he pulled out of by the station, he kind of proper went for it around the corner. You can see that they're both racer type people, but they were proper tearing around the corners and stuff. It was like, why? You're in town. You're not on like a racetrack. Like, well, what are you doing? But yeah, some people honestly, I can drive in a month. That. It's the kind of thing that scares me. People like that on the road is what scares me. Thank you for calling the Civil Aviation Authority, Drone, Approvals and Certification Line. We're sorry, our offices are now closed. For drones and UAVs, our hours are 9am to 3pm. For aircraft certification or organisational approvals, our hours are 8.30am to 430 I need permission for tomorrow. I feel like flying in Wandsworth is really risky. Like I have to do it, but I prefer to have permission. Like it's a blue flight zone and all, like I've flown in blue flight zones before because you just need permission to fly there, like it's not that bad. It's the red flight zone so you want to watch for, but oh my god. Like you see Nightscape and Ryan Taylor and all that going flying in London all the time. And they're fine, but I'd prefer to have permission. And guys, there's a quote that I kind of live by, which is, we've got to die with memories, not dreams. And with that, I mean, like, do everything that you want to do. Like, don't think about stuff, just do it. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to die one day. And you want to die knowing that you've done something, rather than knowing that you've missed an opportunity or that there's something that you haven't done. So I've just got to go out and get these shots. Like, it'd be good to have permission. However, I have to get these shots. So guys, obviously, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash, smash that like button down below and do all that kind of normal YouTube stuff. I don't need to go through it. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's daily vlog. Let's get to 1K, guys. You guys are insane. See you guys tomorrow. One, two, three,